as we take a look at the tail of the tape, Kenito. When you take a look at uh, General Santos City, Sarcon, who is a southpaw, both of them are undefeated. Mas paraming laban si Aljum Pelesio. And for Sarcon, grabe ang pinagdaanan niya just to be able to make it here to the finals when he was 12 years old. Kumontik nang namatayan. Tinamaan ng isang motorsiklo while uh, having fun with his gangmates at 3 o'clock in the morning and found himself unconscious sa hospital. One week sa hospital, almost died, but he was able to survive and then started boxing two years later and now he is in the finals. Ang masalimuot niyang kahapon ay nagdulot ng sakit, lungkot at trahedya. Dahil natagpuan ang boxing, siya ay nasagip at nabigyan ng direksyon ang buhay. Puhunan ang tiyaga at ang tinggaling. Unti-unting luminaw ang daan tungo sa magandang kinabukasan. Para sa pambato ng Davao del Sur, anumang malakit ang dumating, walang pagsuko na magaganap. Lalo't abot kamay na niya ang kampyonato. Mula sa mga karahasan hanggang sa mga pisikal na aspeto, kapuna-puna ang kanyang mga bintahe. Tila baga, hinulma ang tropeyo para mismo kay Leonard Sargon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out the fighters. Making his way inside the ring, Leonard Sarkon! Boy, he's got a throng of fans here inside the UPS studios. Well, he's a sentimental favorite, Anthony, because everybody knows his life story. Abandoned as a child at birth by his father, whom he never knew. Abandoned by his mother when he was nine years old raised by relatives, grew up with gangs, became a juvenile delinquent, but now he's in the final of the UBS Bantamweight Championship. Mula sa murang edad, payak man ang pamamaraan ay hinubog na ng husto ang kanyang pagiging palaban. Doon kami natitraining, mag-shadow, taskmates, gano'n, pachimbang. Yun lahat nandun, nagagamit namin yun. Nagbili ako ng glove. Tapos, tinuruan ko siya ng training kami, araw ng linggo, sabado. Pag mayroong laro sa ibang bayan, pumunta, pumunta kami. Iba yung naranasan namin kasi mahirap kami, galing sa hirap. Eskwila ako, pag uwi ko, training, ganun ginagawa ko. Halos sa araw yan, pati linggo, walang, walang sayang yan. Tutok sa kanyang hangarin, agad siyang nagpakilala bilang matikas at matibay na katunggali. The Nightmare Aljum Pelesio! Sa pamilya ko to, para sa pamilya ko, may champion o hindi, uwi pa rin ako. Kaakibat ang di matinag na determinasyon sa ensayo hanggang sa aktual na laban. Patuloy na nag-alabang apoy ng Misamis Oriental Native. Hindi ako uwi na walang ano. Ito ko eh, may dala ako. May dalang karangalan. Sa isip ko, uwi ako champion. Hindi nagpaawat ng bigyang pagkakataon na tuparin ang pangako sa sarili. Ngayon ay isang hakbang na lang ang kanyang kinakailangan para makamit ang inaasam na tagumpay. Kailangan ko ng pasitid ng pasitid. Huwag matakot sa gala, huwag matakot sa kalaban. Ito na ba ang gabi na may uwi ni Aljun Pelesio ang kampiyonato? And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way inside the ring, the Nightmare Aljum Pelesio! And there is Pelesio, the second of our two finalists here para sa Bantamweight Division. At nakausap din natin si Pelesio. At pinangkit natin sa kanya si Sarkon will have a big height advantage, 5'8 si Sarcon, 5'4 lamang si Palesio. Ang sagot ni Palesio, hindi naman basketball ito, boxing ito. Walang problema kung mas patangkad ang kanyang kalaban. 
gentlemen from TV5 Studio Novaliges, Quezon City, ESPN5 in cooperation with Jerry Pence Boxing Promotions, proud to present UBS Kamaong Pinoy Bantamweight Finals. The three judges at ringside, Jojo Lianera, Alfie Jocosol, and Gerald Basig. And the third man in the ring in charge of the action, referee Al Lianeta. And now, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of professional boxing in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing multicolored trunks, official weight, 117 pounds, professional record, six victories including two wins coming by way of knockout with no defeats. Fighting out of MP Davao Boxing Promotions by way of General Santos City, here is Leonard Sarcon. And now, introducing his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing red trunks, official weight, 117 pounds. Professional record, nine victories, including five wins coming by way of knockout with no defeats. Fighting out of Marty Elorde Boxing Stable from El Salvador, Misamis Oriental, the Nightmare, Aljum Palacio. Okay. Ingat lang si Bat, sa elbow. Ang suntok natin ang sa katawan hanggang belt line lang, okay? Sa baba, bawal. Sa itaas, okay. Okay na? Okay. Tats club. Bakit mali sa laban. We're ready to go here. Sarcon, laban kay Pelesio para sa kampionato ng Bantamweight Division. Hindi lang duwelo ito between two fighters, but duwelo din ng mga cornerman nila. Si Aljum uh, Pelesio, his cornerman is Erbin Peñalosa, who is the brother of Jerry, of uh, Dodie Boy, and of uh, Jonathan Peñalosa. Ang cornerman naman, ni Sargon is Nono Neri of the famed MP or Manny Pacquiao boxing promotions out of Davao City. And uh, Nono, of course, just coming off a big victory as a cornerman of uh, John Riel Casimero, who knocked out Cesar Ramirez in a big uh, world title fight last night in Manila. So this is round number one. We have Sarcon wearing the multicolored trunks, black with red, white, and blue. Ang kanyang kalaban naman si Pelesio is in the red trunks. <laughs> Leonard Sarcon, you know him to be the uh, southpaw. Leading off with the right hand and attacking with the left. And you wonder if this fight is going to go to distance. Si is Palacio, nakalaban na yan isang eight-rounder. Sarkon has never fought an eight-round fight. Will something like that be a factor, Kenito? Could be, in terms of uh, stamina, in terms of pacing yourself for the long haul. Now, yung tanong natin kung uh, tatagal ba to, two knockouts in six wins for Sarkon, five knockouts in nine wins for Pelesio. Both of them undefeated. Both of them One, have two. that quickness, Kenito, also. Yeah. You can see ang bibilis nitong dalawang to. And good hands here by Sarkon. Throwing that right jab, very steady right jab, galing kay Sarkon. He's gonna try to use that reach advantage, and so far, so good. Nahihirap ang pumasok itong si Pelesio. Hindi, so nga bas yeah. hindi nga basketball to kinito katulad oh. pinagit mo. Pero <laughs> alam mo, may advantage din yung, yung mahabang reach ay dito si Sarkon. So. Uh, okay, so far, Sarkon has been getting the better of the exchanges here. He's been able to connect continuously. Oh, 
So far, he's close team. there by Sarkon. The left is in trouble here. Sarkon so giving it all his back. Shots. Excellent start here. Yeah. Such an explosive start by Sarkon. And, you know, you get the feeling that he wants it more at this stage of the fight. Determinado si Sarkon. Sabi nga natin, no? He has gone through so much in life to be where he is right now. Monte kang namatay, hindi niya kilala ang kanyang ama, abandoned by his mother at nine years old, got involved with the dance. Once again, connecting with that left is Sarkon. It's been a great round for him here. But watch, nakababa yung kanyang kanan na kamay. Escalation, not able to get his punches to flow. Nagulat si Palacio no, sa pag-aatake ng Sarkon in the first round. And he gets tagged once again here, wow. Kinito. Palacio has to re-establish some sort of uh, sense in his mode of attack that time. Going a lot of leather, pero isa lang po mga Sarkon. Clash of heads. Referee Al Yaneta. Pelesh has got to find a way to be able to get to cut that distance. He cannot fight here from long range. This is where he might be effective, talking about Pelesho. He's certainly a lot more aggressive in this round than the previous round. Aljun Pelesho. Tama sabi mo, medyo nabigla siya sa maganda pagkupisa ni Sarkon. Hindi siya nakabawi ron, but his cornermen were able to settle him down. He's got Good defense perfectly. in the body of Sarkon. Huh? Anticipated is Sarkon. Nakapapasok dito yung kanan na kamay ni Palacio. So Sarkon has that uh, left hand well covering his face to protect himself from the right hand ni Palacio. Just missing there with that left is Sarkon. Back to his more comfortable distance. Again, sumusubo pumasok na naman si Pelesio. Yun ang talagang kailangan niyang gawin. Quick warning once again from our referee about the clashing of heads. We hope that doesn't become a factor here. Almost two minutes gone, so round number two. We are scheduled for eight. Walang probing, probing first round. Bakbakan sila kagad, but now things have slowed down a little bit. Trying to size each other out. And again, ito si Pelesha trying to come in. Not able to do so. And Sarkon able to connect that time with the right hand. Getting a warning, however, from referee Lianeta. Actually, both fighters getting a warning. I think it's important for Sarkon to initiate. Yun ang ginawa niya sa first round. Ngayon ang hinihintay niya si Pelesio na pumasok. I think it's important for him to throw the first punch. Right now, Pelesio though, liking it, fighting within close quarters. Again, both fighters being warned. Those heads have clashed more than once here in the second round. Final 10 seconds. Adya magtatapos ang ating second round. A much better round, definitely, for Nightmare. So very colorful ang family background nito ni uh, Leonard Sarkon. Well, Leonard Sarkon trying to add some color here with a victory and a championship sa ating Ultimate Boxing Series, if he can. He had a very good first two rounds. I think Palacios... That's a not a solid shot. That's definitely going to yeah. score. But for, for Palacio, I think it's important that he establish some kind of physicality in this contest. He's got to brawl. He's got to toughen up. And dapat sagasahan niya dito si Sarkon. Ang problema, Kinito, hindi nga siya makapasok dito. Yes, because Sarkon is up to his tricks. Alam niya kung anong gagawin ni Palacio. So, abang na dito si uh, Sarkon. He's got a good defense. Alam niya na ang balak dito ni, ni Palacio is sakasaan siya. He's, he wants to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, so far here in the first two rounds, nakita natin the more polished fighter 
You don't see Leonard Sercon. Yeah, I think so. A minute gone sa ating third round. And once again, connecting with a straight left. Itong si Sarcon. And you notice that uh, Pelesio is hesitating. Uh, I, I don't think he's gotten his timing. Ang problema kinito, paano ka makakuha ng timing eh? Tuwing papasok ka, natatamaan ka. Yeah, exactly. And Sarcon doing There's another good left. Yeah. As Pelesio comes in, Sarcon connects with the left hand. And you know, the pattern now is going back to the first round. Kung saan nag-initiate si Sarcon rather than in the second round nung parang pinabayaan niyan si Pelesio to come in and he would counter. Right now here in the third, he's doing both. He's initiating and he's also countering, waiting for his opponent to come forward. It's been another good round number three. Para dito kay Leonard Sarcon. And for Pelesio, you know, he has to show that he's in charge. Given his physicality, he's got to try to overwhelm Sarcon. Yun. He's got to crowd him, push him, rough him up. Ayan ang estilo dito ni Palesio, no? Because he's a tougher competitor. But Sarcon again connecting, drawing uh, cheers from his fans here at Greenside. And looks like a mouthpiece has been dislodged. No, no, Neri not happy there in the corner. Now the fight had to be stopped. Yeah. Uh, and he deep in the referee Leneta na maka higup ng uh, tubig doon, no? Because you're not allowed to do that. You're only allowed to put the mouthpiece back in. Di ka pwede mag respire yun doon. Di time out yun. Let's see who that stoppage is going to spur on here in the third. Oh, big, big shot coming here from Pelesio. Nice overhand right. Uh, he, he wants to slug it out. The problem is not an obliging partner ito si Sarcon. Kaya, mo, no? Doing a little jig. Sarcon looking very confident of that. Well time connection by Sarcon. Very quickly, once again, the action. And Sarcon Picks saying, up. let's get it on. I don't sinasabi dito ni Sarcon, okay, you want to slug it out? Nandito ako. And it seems like both these fighters do not want to bring this to the full eight rounds. Oh, that's, that's, that's clearly a slip. slip. Yan ang naging problema natin yeah. sa mga iba mga laban natin. And that will stymie his attack, no? Because if that is a very slippery canvas, eh, kailangan ni uh, Pelesio dito yung kanyang timing. Eh. But you like that aggressiveness, Kinita, from Pelesio because Actually, his corner was screaming at him during that last yeah. break, telling him you have to be aggressive. The first three rounds possibly went to your opponent, Sarcon. There, it's another good left. Looking for another combination that right does make contact. Just one big punch. Feeling yeah, he's got the advantage in, ter in terms of strength and power. Pero madulas ito si Sarcon. He's able to evade the punches, plus he is also scoring. So here up dito si Palesio to be able to find his rhythm to get off his offense. But you like the aggressiveness that Palesio had to start out this fourth. He needs to try to turn things around. This is the halfway point, essentially, of our eight-round final. Ito yung mga binibigay ni... Pelesio, mga malalakas sa suntok, eh. hindi lang pumapasok eh. Hindi lang kumukonekta with any kind of regularity. Now starting to go to the body is Sarcon with that left, missing with another left. Trying to go to the bread basket a little okay. bit. Shot. That time, good connection by Pelesio. And that suddenly spurred Sarcon yeah. to become extra aggressive. This is the final we expected from both these gentlemen. I don't, I don't know if that's a right strategy for Sarcon to stand his ground and makipagpalitan siya kay Palesio. I think Palesio is a stronger fighter than Sarcon. Sarcon has to go back to what he did very well in the first couple of rounds. Fight from a distance. 30 seconds and natitira sa ating fourth round.
This is where Pelesha wants to be, up close. His corner asking him to come closer once again after they were separated. Final 10 seconds. Union Sagasa ang sinasabi natin. That's exactly what Pelesha is doing right now. He's bulldozing his way through the defense ni Sarkon. Part of family reunion ito for Sarkon and he feels that boxing has brought his family back together again. Let's see if he can unify that family further. Coming up with a title here. And a little bit of an alley shuffle here. Para kay Sarkon, Pelesho, going aggressive, going all out. This is the strategy Pelesho has to be able to employ, to be able to come closer here. Lamang, itong si Sarkon after the first four rounds. The round number four, you could say, might have been the best round between si Pelesha so far. Pelesha doing a lot of infighting. That's exactly where he wants it. And for Sarkon, do not fight Pelesha's fight. Stick to what you did well in the first few rounds. Box from a distance and keep Pelesha away. Again, they're being warned about those headbutts. Those heads have clash. That's another solid shot. But is oh. not rocked, he gets another left. Straight flush to the face. And Sarkon connecting beautifully with some well-timed punches. But it don't see Pelesio has got an iron chin. Oh, he gets hit once again. And he's still trying to come forward, Kirito. That right-left combination. Ni Sarkon doing a lot of damage on Pelesio. There's now a welt forming on the left eye. Nito si Pelesio. From the constant punishment that he's been absorbing. But he continues to come forward. You can't both question fight. his heart. Yeah, but both fighters missing right now. They're leaning on each other. A little bit of tightness seeping in. And remember, we mentioned earlier, si Pelesio naka isang eight-rounder na to. Si Sarkon never has fought in an eight-round fight. Two very young fighters. Wanted to move up in the ranks. Wanted to make a name for themselves. 40 seconds remaining here in the fifth round. The action has slowed down a bit here. But it's a tremendous pace to start off the fifth. I guess we're asking for a little bit too much from these two to continue that pace all throughout. 20 seconds remaining. Well, the mouths of both these fighters are open. Yes. You see that they're getting more and more tired because of the pace that they've set. Final 10 seconds. Pelesio is just leaning on Sarkon, and Sarkon... There's a slip as he tried to get slip. away. Sa ating pagpasok dito sa round number six. Pero ubusan nito. Anthony, we're only in round number six, and both these fighters look like they're very, very tired. Especially si Sarkon. Well, normally this should be the final round, essentially, for both these fighters. Dun sila sanay. Yeah. So you wonder how much gas is left in attacking Sarkon. Ganun din. On the part of Pelesio. The team Pelesio does become stronger here in the latter rounds. Sneaking in that uppercut is Pelesio. That will score. Again, starting to come in and come low. Itong si Sarkon, which is very surprising. A while ago, he, he was opting to fight from a distance. It's a sign of exhaustion that he's not fighting from a distance any longer, that he's just looking to hold and grab. Let's see if he can find his second win here. Pero tama nga sinasabi mo, Kinito. The action has slowed down on Sarkon's side. And for Pelesio, ito ng kanyang pagkakataon. Yung labang sa punto si Sarkon. Still a lot of rounds left here in this eight rounder. Pelesio can come back. And if he has a lot more 
stamina left. This will be a big opportunity para sa kanya. Nice short left scoring there para kay Sarcon. Nawala na yung power ni Sarcon. No? He's able to connect but very little sting left in his punches. And for Palacio, that's a question mark too. Ay ba niyang uh, patumbahin si Sarcon? Pati nga yung bilis kinito. Mas lalo na kay Sarcon. It's very evident yeah. that his punches have slowed down here. Now we're seeing a lot of holding, and it's because of the exhaustion. Isang minuto na titira. A wild shot there coming from Pelesio. He connects there with that left, and then they Cesar hold. Con. That's a lot of holding going on right now. A little bit of loose tape there, dun sa glove ni Pelesio. And for Pelesio, kung uh, may balak siyang... Uh, Apusin itong laban inside the distance. Now is his chance. Papagod na si Sarcon. He slowed down. And referee Leneta sensing that loose tape. He will want that tape fixed by his cornerman Erding Peñalosa. Actually, dun din kay Sarcon. He's got a little bit of loose tape also on his right glove. The corner should try to take advantage of this lull, but Hindi pa nakita ng ating referee yun. So, balik tayo sa action. Again, clashing of heads more than anything else. Napansin natin, no, no clean connections. I think both fighters are struggling with their balance and timing at this stage. Final 10 seconds. More like a recovery round for both these yeah. fighters, Kinito. And look at Sarkon displaying some alley shuffling and side-to-side -side movement para hindi makapasok doon si Palesio. As Kinito said earlier in the broadcast, he feels we're now in the golden era, era of boxing. We'll find out if we have another Filipino champion in just a bit. Pero ngayon ang focus natin, round number seven between Sarcon and Palesio para sa bantamweight title. You know, action has really slowed down. Anthony, but here in round number seven, sabi nga natin kanina, if Palesio is behind on points, now is his chance. Sa kasay niya dito, si Sarcon. And let's see where the chips will fall. Nice connection there with left by Sarcon. Maybe he's found his second win. We don't know. We'll find out. And uh, here's Palesio on the attack. Well, the fans of Lina Sarcon kind of push him forward. Give him that extra energy as he enters the final two rounds. A minute gone. So I think seventh. Another connection there. This time from Pelesio. He's connected twice in his corner, loving it. A lot of holding again going on here. Trying to make it a brawl here. Nagreklamo ng konti si Pelesio. Sabi ng referee, fight on. Sarcon is clearly winded. Nagre-reklamo si Sarcon na tamaan siya sa likod ng ulo. Sabi ng ating referee, and always si protect yourself. Yeah, at si Pelesio naman, nagre-reklamo because puro daw kapit ang ginagawa ni Sarcon. And Sarcon continues to complain about the punches below the head. Well, these are all delaying tactics. And both fighters are really tired. Take a look at Sarcon circling the ring. Just moving away. Definitely. Hindi siya halos sumungsuntok dito, ha? Tama yung kinito, but definitely the fresher fighter itong si Pelesio. Yeah. Iniiwasan yung dito ni Sarcon, si Pelesio. But you know, Pelesio's not able to take advantage. Referee says, you gotta continue to fight. They've been doing a lot more holding here than they have all throughout this bout. But Pelesio wanted to make it a slugfest. He feels he's got the advantage here in the seventh. Hindi niya matamahan si Sarcon, no? Sarcon trying to fight back now. Also missing. 25 seconds remaining. The yeah, connection rate for both these fighters has gone really, really down. Sarabda. Little shuffle being shown here by Sarcon. 
Ayan. He's trying to play some mind games. Hindi susuntok si Sarkon eh. Iiwasan na lang niya si Palesio rito. He's really tired. He's not even holding up his gloves any longer. UBS Bantamweight Championship on the line. Down to one last round. And again, missing si Palesio. Wasarcon saving his energy in the seventh for a big flurry here in the eighth. Ito naman natin si Pilesio. Still looks the fresher of the two. Pero nahihirapan siya pumasok. And he, he, he eats a left dito. there. Yeah. Every, time he, every time he tries to come in, Kinito, matatamaan siya. Habang si Sarton, bumalik na rin yung bilis ng kanyang kamay. So he has picked up his second win here. But Palacio has not been able to put his punches together. That's for sure. At ngayon, ginagawa ni Sarton, iwas-iwas na lang. Coasting along. Just making sure he doesn't get hit by Palacio. I think he personally feels that he's got the advantage when it goes to the scorecards. He feels he is ahead. And it don't see Pelesio giving it his all. He might have to go for a knockout here to stem the tide. Going to the body and but connecting. Also very possible that in the last two rounds, Pelesio might have won them by default because halos nga hindi sumuntok. Si Sarcon as he was just moving side to side, avoiding any kind of encounter or engagement with uh, Aljum Pelesio. And Pelesio was the aggressor in the last two rounds. Yes, he was. Ito sinasabi ni Pelesio. Okay, let's get it on. Bring it on. Pero wala. Iwas iwas na lang si Sarcon. Look at his side to side movement. He's fighting very defensively. That's been his style over the last three rounds. At si Pelesio naman, wala din technique to cut the ring off. I think it's important for a fighter to know how to pin down an opponent. And sabi ni Pelesio, kala ko pumunta tayo dito para makapag-aaway. Sabi ni Sarcon, pumunta ako rito para manalo. Oh. 44 seconds remaining. And, you know, absolutely no rhythm here in the punches of Pelesio. He's throwing haymakers, but he's not connecting. Masyadong magalaw, mabilis, madulas si Sarcon. He's got him in the corner though, but the referee is going to break that one up. Final 20 seconds of this championship bout. And take note, wala pantalo, both these fighters, 6-0 on record ni Leonard Sarcon. 9-0 record with Palacio, and this fight is going the distance. And Sarcon put his hand up, saying that he has won this fight. He feels he's done enough. Let's see if the judges agree. Palacio took it to him in the last three rounds. Would that be enough to sway the judges' decision in his favor? For the presentation of the championship trophy, I recall on our promoter, because Sarkon coasted in the last three rounds, Kinito. That's right. It's going to make possible. this decision very interesting. Very, very interesting and very intriguing. Very close. It could be a close decision here. Valencia was the aggressor. Sarkon, I thought, built up an early lead. Pero na ubusan eh. Si Sarkon ang hangin. And over the last three rounds, all he did was just move away. Halos hindi nga sumuntok. Nonoy Neri, Ting Ariosa in the corner of Leonard Sarcon, Erping Peñalosa in the corner of Aljum Pelesio. And this is the UPS Ultimate Boxing Series Kabaong Pinoy Championship Belt. Kanino siya mapupunta? Will it go to Leonard Sarcon? Or will it go to Aljun Pelesio? There's Jerry Penalosa from Jerry Penn's promotions in the ring, ready to hand it out to the winner. And there's Sarkon saying a little prayer of thanksgiving. May dadagdag ba niya sa kanyang pasasalamat ang kampyon sa hapong ito? A 
Jen Sarkon's mother, Julie. She's in the building. Referee Al Janeta, a former boxer himself, now awaiting the ring announcer to announce kung sinong nanalo sa laban. We already have our flyweight champion. And ngayon, malalaman natin kung sino ang kampion sa bantamweight division. Let's turn it over to ringside with Audrey. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Jojo Llanera scores about 78-74 Sarcon. Gerald Basig has it 76-76. And Alfie Jokosol scores about 77-75 for the winner by majority decision, Lenoy And there you have it, the majority decision. Leonard Sarkon is the new UBS Bantamweight champion, well-deserved victory. He built up an early lead on points. He coasted in the later rounds, but uh, held on to win. Yung pangarap mo, yung inaasama mo, narating mo na, ano nasa puso at isipan mo ngayon? Unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon dahil sa uling laban namin, siya pa rin, ako pa rin pinili niya para manalo sa competition na to. Pangalawa, kay Sir Jerry, dahil kung wala siya, wala ako dito sa TV5, sa ESPN, kung sunod na eh, kay Ma'am Vanessa, sa Team MP, mga, mga kasama ko na lumaban kapon, sinuportahan nila ako. Kuya, pamilya ko. Senador Manny Pacquiao, Salamat sa programa niyo. Mukhang din alam mo yung buong barangay Sarkon dito, pero ano ang mensahe mo sa nanay mo na nanonood doon? Buong laban, nakatayo yung nanay mo habang nanonood. Ma, maraming salamat dahil sinuportahan mo na ako. Kahit, kahit una, di mo ko pinayagan, pinayagan mo pa rin ako. Maraming salamat sa mga sumusuporta sa akin. Kung meron man, maraming salamat sa inyo. Ang bagong UBS Bantamweight Champion, Leonard Sarkon! <laughs>